10 TV's Ashley Barry has the very latest now on the case and how a community paused today to remember a mother brutally murdered. Ashley? Well, Chuck, it was a day to remember and honor the life of Jennifer Cook. Dozens of community members donated their time to help the cause. And although there have been no arrests in her murder case, it is clear there is hope. Music and celebration echoed through the heart of Grandview Heights during a community festival to honor the life of Jennifer Cook, a woman friends say had a kind smile and passion for humanity. Jennifer is smiling right now. She is loving this. This was exactly what she lived for. ZA Unit organized the festival at the public library to honor Jennifer's life and embrace everything the mother was about, family, compassion, and music. This picture was taken three weeks ago when she celebrated her 35th birthday at Lollapalooza in Chicago. She had quoted back that it was looking like this was going to be the best year of her life because, you know, she got to experience this wonderful festival and, and, and be with her people. Sadly, Grandview Heights police say Jennifer Cook's lifeless body was found days later in her Woodhill Drive townhome. It's been two weeks and detectives have not made any arrests in her murder. Missy Bussey says as the outpouring of support and festival donations to help Jennifer's family heal have been tremendous, but the reality of it all is still very difficult. Tomorrow, when this is all done and we're facing another day that without answers, that's when it's that's when it's hard. Bussy says she's confident police will catch Jennifer's killer and confident their tightly knit community will continue to honor her life. We did this and when Grandview is struck with tragedy, we meet it head on and we turn it into joy. And another special note, a small garden in Cook's memory was also dedicated at that library today. And we, of course, will continue to bring you any developments in her murder case. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Berry, 10TV News.